pray for Archie. Sussex keep at dragging kids on all headlines to upgrade their noble virtues. Meghan Markle also spoke during the fifth Invictus Games opening ceremony, where she stated how it was a lot to get here, both physically and emotionally, for each of the competitors. Prince Harry is giving a shout-out to the most important boy in his life. During the opening ceremony of the fifth Invictus Games on Saturday, Prince Harry and his wife, Meghan Markle, both spoke as the event kicked off in The Hague after two years of delays. Harry then told the crowd before him, to be role models, or the role models that each of you are, takes strength and it takes courage, as he went on to speak about two-year-old son Archie and his potential career aspirations. When I talk to my son Archie about what he wants to be when he grows up, some days it's an astronaut, other days it's a pilot, a helicopter pilot obviously, or quasi from octonauts, Harry said with a laugh, adding, if you're laughing, then you've seen that. But what I remind him is that no matter what you want to be when you grow up, it's your character that matters most, and nothing would make his mum and me prouder than to see him have the character of what we see before us today, he continued. The couple also shares 10-month-old daughter Lilibet Diana. Harry added that those involved with the Invictus Games have overcome immense challenges and therefore are healing and teaching the world as you go. Prior to Harry's speech, Meghan addressed the crowd and received a warm welcome, telling those in attendance that she and Harry were so grateful to the Netherlands for welcoming us and hosting the Invictus Games. For each team, my husband and I both recognize it's been a lot to get here, both physically and emotionally, not least of which for the Ukraine team, whom we are all standing with, she continued, referencing the country's ongoing war with Russia. Besides, Meghan Markle has revealed she read The Adventures of Harry McClary to her beloved children Archie Harrison and Lilibet Diana. Meghan joined a group of children and parents in the British Embassy tent on Easter Sunday and listened to a reading of a story from the classic children's book series Harry McClary. At the private event, the Duchess was in the company of a dozen of youngsters, some of their mums as well as British veterans and Team GB competitors at the ongoing Invictus Games. And, as one of the UK Army veterans reported following his meeting with the Duchess, Meghan revealed she is very familiar with the Harry McClary book picked at Geoda Park at The Hague, as she had read it herself to her adored children. British Army veteran James Stride, who read the Harry McClary story to the young public, told the Daily Mail, Meghan told me she was familiar with the book and one that she read to her own children. Previously, Harry and Meghan also clearly had their two young children on their minds during the games as the Duke told the crowd gathered at the event's opening ceremony, when I talk to my son Archie about what he wants to be when he grows up, some days it's an astronaut, other days it's a pilot, a helicopter pilot obviously, or quasi from octonauts. The Royal continued, but what I remind him is that no matter what you want to be when you grow up, it's your character that matters most and nothing would make his mum and me prouder than to see him have the character of what we see before us today. The couple's eldest, whose full name is Archibald Harrison Mountbatten Windsor, is thought to be named after Archibald Campbell, 9th Earl of Argyll of Scotland who was also an ancestor of Harry's mother Princess Diana. Meghan is also a distant relative of Benjamin Harrison, a former US president, meaning their son's name symbolically unites the US and UK despite his parents being the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, Archie has no formal title, and is referred to simply as Master Archie. The baby is seventh in line to the throne, and Queen Elizabeth's eighth great-grandchild, Queen Elizabeth.